Hello everybody, tis I, Kristana, your local inspiration dealer and furniture artist. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hit the subscribe button. If you're not new here, welcome back friends and family. Just got back from a day in the local pool with my family and I decided I'm gonna come home and we're gonna paint together. So I am going to be using some country chic paint on this piece and we are going to be layering, blending, I'm gonna be mixing some colors. I decided to go with this hardware and I really hope that it stays like this by the end of the video. But it fits perfectly with all of these drawers, but it doesn't fit perfectly with these ones. So I'm going to show you guys how to fill the hardware holes with a dowel and we'll also use a Bondo type filler, but we're gonna use a dowel so I can show you how to get, I wanna just show you another way to fill hardware holes. So we're gonna do that. And then Redesign with Prima sent me one of their brand new transfers, literally just came out. And we're gonna use some flat, it's got flowers, it's really beautiful. It's so new that I don't even have it in the cardboard, but I will show it to you. It's a larger transfer with flowers, it's super beautiful, and actually is going to pair really well with this organic flora transfer, which this one is a smaller transfer, but I think I may need to use this one to fill in some spaces. I'm not sure, we may use it, we may not, but we are definitely gonna be using this brand new one. So, if you guys wanna see that, stay here. Let's rock it. The first thing I did was remove all of the hardware and I cleaned this piece really, really well. And then what I did is I plugged the holes of the top three drawers. So I had told you before that the new hardware I picked, it matched perfectly for all the bottom drawers, but the top two drawers were a little bit closer together. And so I want to show you how I plugged these holes. So what I am doing is this is called a Japanese saw and it's very flexible and it's made for this. So I'm taking dowels and I'm going to hammer it in there and you want to make a, make sure your dowel fits just perfectly and then I'm going to take my Japanese saw and I'm going to make sure it's flat with the surface and I'm going to cut that dowel and so this has filled that hole what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand it so that I can smooth that dowel down just in case and I'm going to use a wood filler and just lightly go over it I'm going to allow that to completely dry I'm going to sand it and smooth it and then I'm going to be able to paint over it and then my holes are completely plugged I created a mix with the colors cranberry sauce and opulence. So it is one part of cranberry sauce, half a part of opulence, or you know, a two for one. So two parts of cranberry sauce, one part of opulence. And what this is gonna do is make a really pretty wine color. And that is the color that I am going to use for the very bottom of this dresser. The next color I did right above that mix is called Peachy Keen. And so that is going to be the middle color for this blend. The color I'm using for the top is called Bliss. And so I'm going to make sure that that is at the top of all of the drawers. And then the top three drawers will be fully in that color. And so then what we're gonna do after we have two coats of each of these colors, we're gonna go back and we are going to blend them. 
We are gonna blend this piece. And so the first step is to mist it. So I have a mister bottle, this is just water, and I'm going to mist the area where the transition line is. And first I'm going to lay down our custom mix on the bottom and move it up into that peachy keen a little bit so that we can start blending those colors together. Now remember when you're blending, you wanna make sure you're using a light hand and we're just kind of feathering that mix up into the peachy keen color and then what i'm going to do is first of all I'm, you need to keep this paint misted so that way you can blend it so the key to blending is moisture you don't need a lot you can just see how i missed it across and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to dip my brush in the peachy keen and i'm going to lightly just feather it down into and over that transition line with that special color so what we're doing is we're just trying to lightly feather and blend these colors into one another. Once you have worked the colors together a few times, you're gonna mist the entire drawer with water. And then what I do is take a clean, dry, neutral brush, and I'm going to just kind of lightly feather these together so that I can smooth that transition and just get these colors to melt together. So I'm gonna go vertical, horizontal, diagonal, and this is gonna help get these colors to blend more evenly. When I moved up to the next drawer, I did the same exact thing. So I misted the piece, I took the peachy keen, and I worked that up into the bliss. And then what I did is I took the bliss, and of course I put paint on my paint brushes, but I kept it misted, and then I took the bliss and I moved it down into the peachy keen. And then once I had blended those to where I was happy, I took that clean dry neutral brush after misting, and I just feathered everything together. dresser has multiple layers to it and so I wanted to make sure that this looked like it was all on one piece and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the most center part and I'm going to gently tap that so that the adhesive will stick so that way I can really work on each level of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it down and then there are little different levels and it's beveled on the drawers. So I'm going to focus on pushing the transfer down on the bottom part. So that way I can take a razor blade and I'm going to gently take the razor blade and I'm going to cut all the areas where there are different levels. And this is going to allow this transfer to sit in different areas of the front of this dresser. I really hope that makes sense for you guys. <laughs>
In order to get in between on the frame, what I did is I pulled the dresser drawer out. I'm going to line this transfer up and I'm going to burnish that part down that's gonna go on the frame. And then what I'm gonna do is take my razor blade and carefully cut the area that is hanging over. And that part is gonna go on the dresser drawer. So I'm hoping by you guys watching this process, it is kind of self-explanatory. So you can see exactly how you can do this on the front of a piece that has different levels and bevels and things like that. Once I have applied my transfer, I like to burnish it with a microfiber cloth to make sure it is really adhered to the surface. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a clear coat and I am going to seal the transfer. I need you to remember that even though Country Chic is an all-in-one paint, you have to seal your transfers. And so I'm just gonna seal this entire piece with their tough coat so that it all looks the same. I am just using this microfiber sponge that I found on Amazon and these have become some of my favorite things to be able to apply a top coat. Okay, everybody, this video is done and this piece is done. I hope you enjoyed that. This is what it looks like and Everything I used will be in the description below. And until next time, guys, happy creating, and I will see you later. Bye. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town, see the 
So pretty. 